Thank you guys uh, for giving me a couple of minutes to talk about this, this fascinating project. I really like the film. I love the characters, that 70s uh, noir, noir vibe. So um, let me start uh, with you, Olivia. Um, I, I like the fact that, that in this movie, you do something very different from what you've done. Dahlia is a very complex character. Um, She's complicated, but at the same time, you can understand that, she, that she comes from a hostile environment. There's some motherly, tender side with her daughter. So what was the, the biggest challenge to avoid falling into that cliche or trap of the suffered woman? Mm, that's a great question. I think um, playing her as realistic as possible, like tr pulling in from... Um, from any story that I've heard, any experiences of my, that I've been through when I have to pull myself through something that's extremely scary. And um, there's a lot of fear. I mean, I feel like what was important to me was to show that she was, she was doing the best that she could and she wasn't going to let herself crack. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's really important. She, that you could, I wanted to feel like that she's holding her breath the entire, the entire movie. And only with little moments where Parker Shay's character comes in, does she feel like, okay, maybe I can take a sip of air. Mm -hmm. But in general, you know, I think if you ask any parent, but especially a mother, what they go through when they they're when they're wanting to protect their child, it's like the child comes first, which means you have to rise above and suppress all of your feelings. And so um, in that way, I felt like that was a, you know, to focus on on putting the child first and not her own feelings felt like the best way to not fall into the, the trope of um, a broken woman who's like handling so much that like, I think that if you look at most women and the women that I know that when life gets really hard and really tough, they're the ones you, you look to you, you turn to the woman, you turn to the mother, you turn to the wife mm -hmm. because she, her, it's like, there's something in us that we just know how to like rise above and, and keep our fears just below the surface and, and, and show up. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, great answer. Thank you for that. So, um, Jay, uh, your, your character, character is also very different from what you've done. Your, the nuances of the character, he's kind of a worn out guy, but with a strong moral code and, uh, the atmosphere, the music, uh, helped. Uh, so, but, but what, what was it like creating this character with the director, the, the duality of a hero type of character, but with so many flaws? Yeah, I, you know, it's interesting. You just brought up a really great word, worn out. I think, I think Parker is at the top <laughs> of the piece, you know? Um, I think he's, you know, he's literally, emotionally, he's just not, he's not able to take care of himself. He wants to take care of Dahlia and Dahlia's child. And he, that's mm -hmm. where he, that's where his comfort zone lies, you know? And um, he's a tough guy. He's a tough guy. He's tough, but he doesn't need to show it. I'm, I'm always trying to play opposites whenever I take on these kind of characters um, and, uh, and look for the opposites. But it's, it's yeah, I, I, I was really, I was, yeah, McKelly helped out a lot. He helped out with, you know, with, with the way, you know, with some things he said to me and, you know, it was a pleasure to play. Well, Thank you. Thank you for that. So, um, Olivia, I, I've been a fan of yours for a while now, and I've seen how your career career has evolved from, from to this point where you have you're moving to more serious acting challenges while at the same time doing social activism. So did you ever imagine uh, this this point of your career or how, how do you feel with where you are, are right now in your in your career? Um, I think Shay and I could Shay would would confirm is that you really know where your career is going to take you, especially in this business. Um, I'm just, um, I really wanted to do a movie like The Gateway because I wanted to do a, I wanted to work with, 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 with Shay specifically and mm -hmm. icons like Bruce. And I wanted to do something where as Shay would say all the time, like let's leave blood all over the floor, like something that was just all of our, our hearts and souls. And um, and I'm excited that I'm, I'm able to ha have these opportunities and to have these experiences. And I really am grateful that, um, that, that I have a platform in any way to be able to, to bring light to issues that are really important. And, you know, recently with all of the, the um, Asian hate crimes across the country, and um, that was, you know, that, that was like, 
that that went to the the the, the front of all of my priorities. You know, I my mother is an immigrant, and um, and she was afraid to leave the house or go to the grocery store. And I have friends whose mothers were um, beaten and battered, and it, it was it's been it's been exhausting and um, and terrifying. But um, I am grateful that um, I have the 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 opportunities and abilities to to put a little bit of a light on them. Well, thank you for that. And, and again, you're doing great work in mm -hmm. your career and with the social activism and also in your social media platform. So uh, Shay, thank you so much uh, with such a great performance. And, and again, my time's up and, and stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you so much. You too. Love the film. Bye.